Now, we will introduce to you what is energy saving film. We have a showcase here. This is the infrared power meter which measurement in wattage per square meter. So the number get higher, it's hotter. Today we are going to test four kinds of heat insulation glass to see the result. Now, let's turn on the infrared heat lamp assembly to monitor the heat of the sun. The infrared power meter shows that the heat without glass is 1000 wattage per square meter. The first one is the normal glass. It shows 792 wattage per square meter. The second one is the reflected glass which is used in buildings extensively. This reflective glass will reflect 70% of the light outside the building. Now, let's see how the heat insulation goes. The infrared power meter shows 252 wattage per square meter which also blocks 75% of the heat. The third one is the glass which sticks on three layers of window film and you can barely see through from this glass. Let's see how the heat insulation goes. The infrared power meter shows 787 wattage per square meter. Now let's compare with the fourth glass, the glass which has green film stick on. Through the light meter, we can see that it only blocked 20% of light outside the window. But what about the heat insulation goes? The infrared power meter shows it only comes in 48 wattage per square meter. Let's see the result of these four glasses. So what if we use the curtain to isolate the heat and light and see how the meter goes? The meter shows 86 wattage per square meter. Seem like even if you install the curtain, it still cannot compare with green film. Nowadays, natural light is very important for buildings. Green film can block the heat outside and let the light transmit into the building. So there's no need for you to turn on the light in daytime. And the furniture won't be damaged by the sun. Green film is definitely your best choice. 